I'd like to give all praise and glory to my power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakak Quadash. I'd like to give a double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Middle Stone who have taught me this truth. I'd like to give a salutation to the men out there on the highways and byways who are teaching this truth. And I'd like to give a shalom to the men and women who are out, who are out there listening and learning. To you I say, shalom. This is a short lesson. Um, it's nothing big. Um, essentially, um, I decided or the spirit has been upon me to put a lesson together while I'm waiting for the guys in my camp to show up. Um, I'm not a part of a GMS camp, but I support my GMS camp um, until the doors open back up um, and 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 they allow new members. Um, but until then, I the spirit is on me to do what I can do for the men who are out there on the highways and byways teaching the true doctrine um, of the men of GMS. Um, I follow, I follow them, I follow the men of GMS faithfully. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, this is a short lesson. You know, it's nothing big. Um, you know, it's just, it's just a sign of the time, you know. Um, we are in that time of the beginning of sorrows of Jacob's trouble. Um, those who have an ear can hear. And those who have eyes to see what's going on, I consider, or the Lord considers those men blessed. Things are happening around the world. I mean, you got earthquakes, you got pestilences, um, you got grasshoppers, you got plagues, you got famines, you know, you got wars and rumors. I mean, you got all of this stuff going on around the world, and it seems like nobody is actually, well, or, or the men of, or the people of Israel just ain't paying attention as to what's going on. And it's going to catch a lot of people by surprise. Which, in fact, you know, it, it's not really a surprise of those men of GMS and those men who teach the same doctrine of, as GMS, you know, to realize that, you know, a lot of people just ain't going to get it. You know, and, uh, and you know, you just got to accept that fact. It's a hard pill to swallow. But you have to accept that fact, you know. Um, Yahabashim Yahashai don't want everybody. He, you know, he just wants his elect, you know. And 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 Donald Trump is quarantining cities. Um, what, I think he got four or five cities or states that's now under a state of emergency. Or, or the United States is under a state of emergency, but, you know... You got numerous states out there that's about to be locked down. I mean, granted, you know, you got your areas that are locked down, but you got various states that are about to be locked down, and New York City is one of them. You know, um, Washington is another. You know, I can't think of all of them offhand, but, you know, you got these places that's about to be locked down. And and it's nothing short of what was said by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah. Um, I'd like to bring out a scripture. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Things are happening fast. As fast as Yahweh Bashi Miyashai said it would happen, they're happening. Um, um, uh, The apostles deemed this year the year of prophecy, and again, it's nothing short of that, you know, man. Um, and Jake just ain't waking up, you know. We are now at the point where martial law is about to be implemented throughout the United States. You know, it's already been implemented around the world, you know, in various places, but. It's about to be implemented right here in the United States. And these people just ain't getting it. You know, 
rather than hoarding toilet paper and water and, you know, stuff that will save you. These people should be looking to the Lord or looking to the men of the Lord before that grace period ends, you know. But they're not doing that because they seem to be in good case. You know, these people got their priorities all messed up. You know, instead of looking for Yahweh Shem Yashai, they're looking for everything but, you know. I mean, the depression in this place, the mirth, the economy, the food in this place is done. I mean, granted, the food has already been done, but the mirth and the economy in this place is done. I mean, we're at the point where the dollar is about to collapse. You know, again, they're shutting this place down, you know, and 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 I'm looking at the people of Israel like, yo, uh, at what point are you going to start looking to your how about Shem Yashai? You know, when shit hits the fan so bad that you have no choice. That's the wrong time to do it. But that's what my people do. They wait till the last minute. You know, I I remember being in college. I remember being in college and, and um, you know, I'd have a calculus test or, you know, like whatever test. I would have a test. And I would feel so comfortable with what I heard that I, I would seldom at one point go and actually work out complicated problems. You know, in other words, I'd be in the class and I'd hear the professor talk. Yeah, 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 I, I got that. Boom, I know how to do that because I saw you do it. But when the test came, yo, brain fart, you know, it's like, whoa, what is this? You know, wait a minute, this isn't what you said it was. This is something totally different. And, and that's how it's going to hit a lot of people. It's going to hit a lot of people like, my pastor said it was like this, you know, but now you're saying, or now it's, you know, now it turns out to be this. People are just going to be confounded by what's going on in the world. Once shit hits the fan that they're just going to bug out. They sat back in, in these, busted churches listening to the pastor talk lies talk deceit talk good things talk prosperity to the people to the point where the, the nation or the two thirds actually think that it's all about prosperity it's all about that white meat you know, that J word, white meat, you know, is, 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 these people are done, you know? And when you sit back and you tell them, yo, to do the work is more than just listening to what you're being told. It's to get in the scriptures and make sure what you're being told is true. Uh, I, I hope you people understand what I'm talking. Well, I hope the Akim out there understand what I'm talking about. Um, it's 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 these people are in for a rough road, but it's all the will of Yahweh Bashim Yasha. If you can receive it, I got another scripture. Well, actually, I have a few. Um, the book of Second Edris, chapter 15. Uh, I start at verse 7. Uh, Therefore, saith Yahweh, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them 
in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Yeah, you got the men on the highways and byways complaining. The true prophets of Great Middlestone are the men of Great Middlestone who are out there on the highways and byways continuously complaining to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh about how wicked this kingdom is. They're complaining continuously as to how wicked their people are. Hell, I'm complaining as to how wicked my people are. Here it is. I just got through the Passover. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the water. I just got through the Passover and I'm having to deal with people in my own house, not paying attention to things that they buy. Now, they don't believe, you know, and here it is. I got, you know, I got, I got people under my roof who don't believe this. Yeah, all right, I get it. But come on, man. If I tell you don't buy yeast, don't buy yeast. And if you do buy it, don't bring it in my house. That's the wickedness I got to contend with day to day. Amongst other things. Let me continue. Therefore, saith Yahweh, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Yo, Yahweh Shem is coming. All right. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. That's what you're entering into. Yahweh Shem is about to smite this place like it's never been smitten before. And a lot of people just don't believe it. A lot of the two thirds don't believe it. Fuck them. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague. Those missiles. And the punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. Yo, Yahabashim Yahusha is bringing plagues, famine, those nuclear missiles. Jacob's trouble is we are in it. We're in it. But my people don't want to listen, so fuck them. The two-thirds. The elect will get it. The two-thirds have got to die off and come back in the kingdom. It is the way that it is. You know? We got to preach this word whether they hear or forbear. Excuse my language if, if it offends you. Verse 12, Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and the punishment that the Most High will bring upon it. Verse 13, they that till the ground shall mourn for their seed shall fail through the blastings and hail and with a fearful constellation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. That's what you're about to enter into, Israel. Because when this economy collapses, and when these people realize how they've been fucked by their own people, and when and when Israel Wow. Jake is going to get what Jake needs. This race war is going to crack off and it's going to be it's going to be terrible out here. And unless you have Yahabashim Yashai with you, there's no way, no way you're getting out of what's coming unless how about Shem Yahushai is with you, unless you hearken on to his word. There's no way. Absolutely no way. Verse 16. For there, for there shall be sedition among men. Yo, if, if you think dudes are treating you bad now, wait until when there's a famine in the land. And they break into your house to get what you got. 
and not care about your family, but they care about what their family's going through. Or they might not even have a family. They just might break into your shit, take your shit, and eat your shit, and live in your shit. It's just that serious. Let me continue. For there should be a sit for there should be sedition among men invading one another, and they should not regard their kings nor princes. Yo, when this account when this economy collapses and these people don't give a a, a damn about nothing but themselves and the rule of law in this place. In this place, you see, a lot of people thinking about if shit hits the fan. You know what I mean? They're not thinking about without rule of law. Because that's what's coming without rule of law. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. These people ain't going to give a damn about what the law is. When they're hungry. These people ain't going to give a damn about what the law is. When they got people trying to kill them. <laughs> These people ain't going to give a damn about nothing but themselves. When you got people trying to kidnap them. Chip them. Rape them. Kill them. Then eat them. Eat them, we'll eat them. <laughs> it's plain words in there. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That's what you're entering into right now with these quarantines. Because when they say quarantine, that they, they actually mean martial law. There's no good quarantine. It's, you know, I don't care how I don't care how you butter it. There's no good quarantine. You know what I mean? There's nothing good about a quarantine other than keeping you where you're at. So when they so when it's time to come and get you, they know where you at. Think about it. <laughs> That's what the apostles say. Yeah. Verse 18. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. So now you got your Billy badasses out there who think that they shit don't stink, who think, yeah, you know, I'm good with my hands or, you know, can't nobody mess with me. These men will. These men are turning into straight punks. Because they don't understand what's going on. Because when Yahweh Bashem Yashah had his hands out. To bring these men into the fold, they smack the Lord's hand away. But these same men are going to be the same men who's going to cry like a woman in travail in, in that day because they don't understand what's going on. But the men of the Lord is going to be the men out there where seven women shall grab hold of one man. Anyhow, I got to get to camp. Um, I hope that you found this short video edifying and... Again, I give all praises, glory, and power to my power. Salaki, I give all praise, glory, and honor to my power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I'd like to also give a double honors to the men or the apostles of Great Middle Stone who have taught me this truth, who rule well. Man, the Spirit's been on those men for decades. The water. I'd like to give a shalom to the elders in the Akim out there on the highways and byways who are teaching and preaching this truth. And I'd like to give a shalom to the men and women who are out there listening and learning. Yo, we are in that time of JT, Jacob's trouble. Pray always. Shalom.